So much contention surrounding the big day. There are many who are feeling the stress of the potential outcomes. Fox 12's Drew Marine tells us about some ways people can cope with the stress. Drew? Yeah, the American Psychological Association did a Stress in America survey, which highlights stress related to the pandemic, the upcoming election, and other factors. Their study shows of the almost 70% of all adults surveyed say the upcoming election is a source of stress right now. A global pandemic, civil unrest, and a contentious election are just a few stressors weighing on Americans right now. I think everybody, regardless of what side of the issues that you're on, Everybody's stressed about the selection. And a survey done by the American Psychological Association confirms that 76% of Democrats, 67% of Republicans, and 64% of Independents all agreeing this election is a significant stressor. According to that same survey, nearly 77% of adults say the future of the nation is a big stress for them. It's an election on top of a pandemic, on top of, you know, the largest racial justice movement. I think the world has ever seen. And that all right there together is a Gen Z ball of stress. 68% of adults surveyed say the election is definitely a stressor. I'm not terribly surprised to hear that number. Greg Borders is the chief clinical officer for Lines for Life and says they've seen an increase in calls to their hotline recently because of the election. They're experiencing increase in symptoms of anxiety, some depression, agitation, irritation. I'm just trying to figure out how to cope with the stress that I think so many people are feeling uh, lately and certainly coming into the next week. So how should someone cope on Election Day and the following weeks after? Borders says have a plan. Figure out who, who's good support systems for you to talk to during that time. Um, you know, I think it's, it's easy to get caught in political conversations that can be difficult and can cause more stress and anxiety. And so it seems like it's really important, I think, ahead of time to figure out what your boundaries are around that. They're The APA says tensions were also high in 2016, but things this time around have increased dramatically. Four years ago, 52% reported that they were stressed because of the election compared to 68 this time around. If you're feeling stressed and you want someone to talk to, you can call the Lines for Life number at 1-800-273-8255. Live in Southeast Portland, Drew Maureen, Fox 12, Oregon.